Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the digital circuit which consists of the full header and the XOR gate. And here the X, Y and Z are the input to the given circuit. So here the Z input is connected to the carry in input of the full header. And we have been given that the Z input is permanently set to the logic one. So here we have been asked to find the function of the given circuit when the X and Y are the inputs of the circuit. So let us find that. So here we have been given that the Z input is permanently set to the logic one. And this one is also given to the carry in input of the full adder. So here for the XOR gate, the one of the input is equal to one and the second input is Y. So for this XOR gate, if P is the output, then it can be given as this y bar dot z plus y dot z bar. And here the z is permanently set to 1. So we can say that this p is equal to this y bar dot 1 plus y dot 0. And that is equal to y bar. So we can say that the output of this XOR gate will be equal to y bar when the z is set to 1. So in a way, this XOR gate will act as a NOT gate. So we can say that the sum output of this full adder or this S is equal to this X plus this Y bar plus C in. And here this C in is equal to 1. So here this Y bar is nothing but the 1's complement of the Y. So we can say that this Y bar is 1's complement of the Y. And here if we see this Y bar plus 1 then that is nothing but the 2's complement. So we know that when we add the 1 to the 1's complement number then we will get the 2's complement of that number. So we can say that this Y bar plus 1 is nothing but the 2's complement of the number Y. And here this Y is the single digit input. So we can say that this S is nothing but the x plus the 2's complement of the y and that is nothing but the x minus y. So basically this circuit performs the subtraction of the two digits and in fact we have discussed this circuit in detail in the earlier video of the 4 bit full adder and the subtractor as well as the multiplier. So for more information you can check that video. But suppose if you are even not aware about the 1's complement and the 2's complement, then also from the truth table itself, you can also find that this circuit is performing the subtraction. So let us also see that. So here, this circuit consists of the three inputs, that is X, Y and the Z. And we know that for the three inputs, we have the eight different possibilities. So here, we have been given that this Z is set to permanently one. So in that case, we will have only four options. And moreover, when the Z is set to one, then the output of this XOR gate is nothing but the Y bar. That means here, if we consider this table as the truth table of the full adder, then the second input to this full adder will be equal to Y bar. And therefore, the second column has been replaced by the Y bar. And here, this carry in input is also equal to 1. So now for these four different input combinations, if we perform the addition, then for the first combination, the sum output will be equal to 0, while the carry output will be equal to 1. Similarly, in the second option, for this 0 plus 0 plus 1, the sum output will be equal to 1, while the carry output will be equal to 0. Likewise, in this third case, the sum output will be equal to 1, while the carry output will also be equal to 1. And similarly, for the last possible input combination, the sum output will be equal to 0, while the carry output will be equal to 1. So here, for the given circuit, we have been asked to find how this circuit will function when the X and Y is used as a input. So here, for the given circuit, the actual inputs are X and Y. That means to actually see how the circuit perform, we need to replace this Y bar column with the Y. So with that, if you see, 
then for this possible combinations the x and y inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and the 1 1 so we know that this 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and therefore this column will perform the subtraction likewise this 0 minus 1 is equal to 1 similarly if we see this third row then this 1 minus 0 is equal to 1 and likewise this 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 that means here this column is performing the subtraction and here basically to perform the subtraction since we are using the two's complement of the one number so whenever there is a carry we will neglect it that means here whenever there is a carry it will be neglected and whenever the carry is zero then it indicates that the output is the negative because here in the case of the zero minus one although we are getting the one as the output but it indicates that the output is the negative so in a way this circuit is performing the subtraction so even if you are not aware about the concept of the two's complement addition and the subtraction then also from the truth table also we can find that the given circuit is performing the subtraction and from this we can say that for the given circuit this b is the correct answer